Outdoor Travel Channel with Robin Sherry. Welcome to Outdoor Travel Channel. This is a full version documentary of us bringing back a boat from Washington State to Arizona. So grab yourself a cup of coffee, kick back, and watch how we managed to get a boat all the way from Washington to Arizona. The MV Friendship comes home to Arizona. Hello and thanks for watching. You're about to embark on a big, big journey. So we're in the middle of the desert here. We're about 100 miles out of Phoenix and we're heading north. So sorry about the wind. I just thought I'd pull over and tell you a little more about the story. Anyway, <laughs> we, uh, Cinder and I, are going to drive up to Washington State. So it's going to take about three days to get up there. So it's about middle of um, Tuesday and I'll be up there by Friday. Sherry's going to fly up to Washington and meet me and then we're going to spend some days up there. Uh, we have a couple of missions. We're going to go check in Sherry's folks in Oregon, get my canopy to the truck and uh, um, go do a little shopping while we're there. So it's kind of windy. I'm sorry about the sound. Uh, we're just kind of shooting from the hip here. Let me turn around so you can see. I am in the desert and I got the camera in the truck a little bit so the wind should be down. And Cinder. We've got Cinder. So her and I are going to try to enjoy the trip up there. It's going to be a long drive. We'll probably do about 16 hours of driving today. And I'll show you a map of where we're going. So see you on the road. So our trip's going to consist of going from Arizona through Las Vegas, up through Nevada by Reno, then through uh, Central Oregon, and then on the third day we should be up in Washington State. And our business we have to take care of will be up in the Bellingham area right here. And then we have to do the whole drive all the way back again. So join us and here we go.
go from there. Hey guys, we've done 514 miles so far. Just went through Gold Field. Uh, we weren't able to get anything to eat in Betty, or Petey. Oh, I would the. Anyway, uh, so hopefully uh, Tonopah, uh, which is uh, I think 40 or 50 miles from here, uh, might have some food and that's a good place for me to feed Cinder. And we'll take it from there. So far, so good. Okay, guys, we just got past Tonopah and went about another 10 miles, and there's a nice little rest area. And this was a good place to give Cinder her dinner. So. Uh, we're all set up here. She's finishing up her dinner. Get some fat. She, uh, she likes uh, soft food, so that's what we give her at 4 o'clock. She also has dry food and stuff like that in here. Anyway, nice shady place. <laughs> I think she feels better now. She's been really good on this trip. It's been a long drive. I think we've done about a 550 miles so far. We're going to drive on another 90 miles to uh, Hawthorne and probably keep going until I get to Fallon, which will be nighttime by then. I will apologize if the uh, pictures get dark. We're kind of winging it here. And spend the night there because uh, um, if I. Uh, it should be cooler up there. The problem with this trip is I can't stop and go eat or go inside a building. Uh, because it's 100 degrees out and it's starting to cool down a little bit. I think it's 91 here, but uh, it's not good for cinder. So all right, we just deal with it. So we got a good spot. She's got a full tummy, and we'll hit the road real soon. Talk to you later. So cinder and I just got done eating at McDonald's uh, in Hawthorne, and we're back on the road. Uh, we're on our last jaunt to uh, Fallon. Uh, Nevada. Uh, we've done 640 miles so far. Uh, it's been critical that I make sure that Cinder gets french fries. And uh, as long as Cinder's getting her french fries, she's been a real good girl. Uh, so I think we'll be in Fallon probably in an hour. Something like that. I think it's about 70 miles away. And uh, I think we'll call it quits. So, uh, lots of exciting things coming up in uh, this fast trip. Going up to Washington will make sense to you. We'll uh, kind of let you know what's going on. Well, we made it here to Fallon, Nevada. We uh, drove, me and Cinder, <laughs> drove 714 miles today. Uh, it was actually a pretty good drive. Um, we downloading um, all these files for today and try to get them up in a few days. And then we'll be getting up first thing in the morning, getting up as early as we can, heading up to Central Oregon. That's where my canopy is. We're gonna put the canopy on the truck and uh, say hi to Sherry's folks. And then uh, I think I'm gonna spend an extra day there, then head up to Washington to catch up with Sherry. And I thought maybe you get a kick out of seeing Cinder, enjoying the bad, being a good girl. <laughs> so anyway, so I wanna thank you for watching today. I know most of it was just driving, uh, but this is just part one of several parts coming up here, so. Uh, you got to understand this part of the story to understand the whole story. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you like our videos and stay tuned for our next episode. Good morning, guys. This is day two for our trip up to Washington. We're in Fallon getting ready to go. We just stopped at a Jack in the Box. So Cinder and I are sharing some breakfast jacks. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got about eight hours of driving today. Good thing about today is what once we got out of Nevada, go through a little bit of California, hit Oregon, uh, we'll get to see some trees, yay, and it should start cooling down a little bit, so off we go, we'll be safe, and have a great day guys. Alright, well we just passed uh, Reno, 
and we just got into California. We've gone 789 miles total and uh, we had to pull over for a minute. Let Cinder have a potty break. Anyway, everything's going well. Back on the road. Alrighty, wow, well, just pulled over and we're gonna give Cinder some water. Uh, we're just about 20 miles out of Susanville in California. We're about 120 miles from Lakeview, Oregon. So uh, I thought I found a nice little place to park here for a second. And uh, I'll get a, pull out the G40 camera so I can give you a little idea what the area looks like here. This is high desert. And uh, first of all, let's give Cinder some water. Well, this is Cinder. He decided to pull out the G40 camera. Thought I'd show you around. So this is a high desert. So we're kind of in a hillside here. We're kind of going into the sunshine here, but this is all high desert. You won't find cactus here. Uh, let me bring you around here. And that's where we've been. <laughs> and uh, you'll see it's very actually very pretty you're starting to see junipers and a lot of cheat grass as you can see and uh, real peaceful not a lot of traffic out here so uh, there you go California just outside of uh, Susanville so back in the road we went heading towards Alturas California Alright guys, we just got to Alturas in California, uh, which kind of indicates we're getting closer to Lakeview. Uh, we've gone 942 miles so far since we left, and we're actually going right through the little town of Alturas right now, and I'll give you a little peek at it. Not a lot to see here in Alturas, but it is a small little town. And then off we go towards Lakeview, Oregon. And yes, I have a dirty windshield. Hey everyone, I'm just outside of Lakeview and uh, I'm going to show you some pictures of uh, what's left of Goose Lake this time of year. And uh, it's real pretty out here. I'm going to switch cameras and uh, uh, I think we've gone 970 miles. So here's Goose Lake. So this is Goose Lake looking south and you can see it's all dried up now. A little bit of water. I'll bring that out a little bit. It's real pretty out here. And there's still some water way over there. Well, back on the road and off to Lakeview, Oregon. We've reached 1,077 miles. Uh, we're about 90 miles from Bend, Oregon, and then there's about another 20 after that. So we're uh, almost there, <laughs> at least to Central Oregon. So uh, uh, just coming over a little pass here, getting ready to get towards uh, the Lapine area, and it's very beautiful. So I'll try to get some pictures of that. So we're just taking a little break, letting Cinder stretch a little, let me stretch a little, and on we go.
So right here we we're pulling into the Bend, Oregon area. We're just on the south end of it and we're almost to our destination for day two. Alrighty, well it's the next day and I've driven over 1,220 miles so far and still got to get up to Washington but today we put on the canopy but before I do that sure um, sure <laughs> Cinder and I decided to stop by Smith Rock so I thought I'd show you a few shots of uh, this beautiful area and then after that we'll show you putting the canopy on the truck So there she is guys, canopy's back on the truck, and we've got the back open for cinder, but I always like the looks of my truck with that canopy on there. There you go, time to go on to Washington. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that threw me off. Alright guys, we got the canopy on. It's the second day in Central Oregon. Tomorrow morning I leave to uh, head for Washington. It's about 350 miles. It took about seven hours to get there. And uh, we're just chilling tonight. Uh, Shuri's folks, sorry about the wind. And uh, um, Shuri flies in from SeaTac. And I'll pick her up in the afternoon. And then we'll be heading up north. One of our missions up there is to get our couch. Um, and we want to replace the couches in the RV and, and the one that we had in our apartment we're going to take down to Arizona. And yes, there's swimming pools in the back of my <laughs> truck. And it's because we had those up here when we were up here before. And I'm going to try to take them back down to Arizona because Cinder uses them to cool down. So what the heck. Uh, the rest of the stuff is the stuff that needs to be thrown away of what we use to store the canopy. So, anyway. Stay tuned guys. Good morning everyone. It's day four. I'm on my way up to Washington. All done with my Central Oregon stuff. So we're on the road early in the morning. Got up at five and napped a little gasoline and uh, stopped and filled up my coffee. Got some spare water for Cinder. And I'm in the little town of uh, Madras. We're coming into it in Oregon. And I'm going to cut across the Cascade, so I'm going to go uh, uh, over Mount Hood uh, in the Gresham, then uh, along the Columbia a little bit, and then uh, cross over by Portland, Vancouver, take I 5 up to the Seattle area, which I'll uh, intern. Try to be at the airport by about 1 30, which is on a Friday, to pick up Sherry. Then from there, we're going uh, up to Bellingham and actually go look at a boat. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> there you go. That's what's going on today. So, we'll try to get you some nice pics. And uh, stay tuned. Lots of things coming up. Bye. Well, we made it to Gresham, Oregon. Uh, we've t uh, traveled a total of 1,375 miles. Stopped at McDonald's to get some breakfast and uh, <laughs> stretch a little. And uh, we'll be heading on the road real soon here. Um, it actually uh, 
only about 50 miles and we'll be actually in Washington and be heading up north from there. So here we go. Well, we're well within uh, Washington now. We're um, past Vancouver, probably about 30 miles. Stopped at a rest area for Cinder and myself. We've uh, traveled a distance of 1,413 miles. Uh, Sherry's getting ready to get on the plane in uh, Arizona. Been talking to each other. I've got, so we're trying to coordinate. It's about 9.30 here. I'm supposed to be at the airport in Seattle at 1.30 to pick her up. So it looks like we're on schedule and everything's going well. So off we go. Okay guys, we're at the airport waiting for Sherry. Uh, we're a little bit early. Uh, we've driven so far 1,565 miles. So we're patiently kicking back. Cinder's looking out the window. And we'll be picking up Sherry soon. Talk to you later. Okay, now from the holding area of the airport, I have to stealthily bring in my one-ton dually into SeaTac Airport without killing anybody and at the same time I've got a very excited dog hanging out the window. Just when I needed more chaos, Sherry did manage to get through three lanes of insanity and made it to the truck alive and well. Hey, hi mom. Hi puppy. Sherry's back. You're on film. Oh good. Hey everybody. So we hopped on the freeway once again and shot up to Bellingham to go look at a boat in Birch Bay. The boat we were driving up to sea was a 1999 Maxim 2800 SCR. This boat had dual 4.3 liter engines and, and Bravo 2 outdrives with stainless steel props. The boat comes with a 7 foot Livingston dinghy and also a four horsepower four stroke motor and if that wasn't enough this boat also comes with its own trailer it's a bit large but it does have a trailer after the sea trial we definitely had a lot to think about that ends our day today we looked at the boat today went on a nice boat ride uh had lots of traffic to go through we're tired okay still gotta get dinner and Cinder is finally getting her dinner and we're gonna wrap it up so guys have a nice evening guys it's day five uh, Sherry and I had a nice evening we went up to uh, Birch Bay Bellingham area uh, we looked at a boat and uh, checked out a casino up there and had a nice dinner uh, today we're at the storage unit and uh, we're deciding against not bringing the couch home and but we did pick up a few things that were in the storage unit that we're going to take back with us to Arizona so uh, now we're uh, just relaxing a little bit going to go get some lunch we're going to go back up to Bellingham and we're now up to 1812 miles 1812 miles since I've left left Arizona so there you go we'll show you show you more as we go and ah uh, yes, here it comes. We're walking up to Blue Heron Yacht Sales. And yeah, we kind of like that last boat. And yeah, we're putting an offer on it. So here we go. Hi guys. So we're out here on kind of a pier uh, in Bellingham. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like all commercial boats we can see behind me. And I think the commercial boats use this. I kind of turn around a little bit. And yeah, my son's in the wrong direction. And, uh, oh, did I mention we bought a boat? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're hoping. We we're put hoping. an offer. We put an offer in on a boat. We'll tell you more about it as we go. And uh, you might be surprised it's not what you think it is. So uh, we'll explain the whole story as we go. But that was part of our mission to coming up here to Washington. And uh, uh, like I said, I think you'll be surprised of what it is. And uh, so today we're just going to enjoy the Anacortes, uh, north part of the Washington and the water. And once again, let me turn you around so you can kind of see. 
It's just a beautiful day. And uh, we just got done doing the, the stressful part of paperwork. Our uh, broker, as you saw earlier, is, uh, his office is just over there. And now we're chilling because we just wrote the checks. So anyway, there you go. More adventure coming, I told you. Alright guys, well you know when people start looking at boats or buying boats, uh, just like RVs, people always go to Camping World. Well, for boats, it's West Marine. <laughs> so, that's the first place we went. We haven't even owned the boat yet. So anyway, uh, talk to you later. Lots of things to come. Bye. Well, we're hanging out at Anacortis looking at the boat, so let's take a look. Of course you may imagine that when you buy an RV or buy a boat, the first thing you start doing is daydreaming about all the things you're going to do. And of course, Sherry and I went to Anacortis Marina and decided to walk around in the nice weather, it was nice and sunshine, look at all the other boats, imagine what it's going to be like when we get our boat. We're excited to the fact that we're going to be able to share a whole bunch of new stories with you with our RV and with our boat now. We've decided that we're pretty much going to be kind of weekend warriors that live in an RV and we wanted to bring some really fun stories uh, to our channel. And if you also notice, we didn't buy a sailboat. We are not ready for a sailboat yet. Uh, in the future, we will. And this boat we have, we're, we imagine that we're probably going to trade it in for a sailboat when we get up in our uh, senior years. But it was a beautiful day, and I hope everybody enjoys the boat and the channel. Hi, guys. This is Rob. I'm sure he's uh, in the office at the motel here giving a key back. We are down in Kent, Washington. It's a Sunday and uh, this is day six of our travels. And exciting thing today is we're going to go meet uh, Aaron and Lori from Three Tails RV uh, for lunch today at our favorite place called Caveman Kitchen. And Cinder gets to go. And this wasn't the best motel in the world, but the cost of motels are amazingly high up here especially up north towards the border so anyway we're just uh being surprised every time we get a different motel room so next time uh, i turn on the camera here hopefully we'll be introducing you to uh aaron and Lori from three tails rv.com talk to you later so of course like every rv channel we got to show all of our toys and hardware or how we do what we do and the girls had a chance to say how crazy their husbands are. And then we just got out in the back of the field in the shade until actually we lost our shade and talked and talked forever. And it was a wonderful day. So don't forget to go see 3 They're wonderful people. So we had a wonderful lunch with Aaron and Lori Jimerson of 3 Tails RV. They gave us a beautiful gift. A little cinder. It's a baby cinder. And uh, he, made this. he made that, and it looks really good. We're going to put that up in the RV. We're very grateful. Uh, maybe talking more to Aaron uh, more this week. He may be helping me with a project. But we had a wonderful time. Tonight we're going to meet up with Sherry's sister, probably go up to the Muckleshoot uh, Reservation and have dinner. And uh, we get a discount up there. So I'm looking forward to that. So it kind of ends day six. Hey guys, this is Rob on day seven. Uh, I'm down in Kent, Washington. Uh, just took Sherry to the airport this morning. I would have taped more of that, but she uh, we woke up a little late, so we had to dash out of here. So today, uh, um, I heard that we have uh, we purchased a boat, and today is kind of a coordination day. So we made an offer that was accepted. Uh, the trailer, this is a big boat, and it has a very big trailer. So my stipulation on the uh, on that boat was more on safety on that trailer. So the trailer has been taken to, it's, it's a tough trailer. And it's, uh, it's called tough. <laughs> anyway, it's a tough trailer anyway. And it's pretty mammoth. And uh, so since I got to travel 12,000 mi uh, 1200 miles with it I'm um, having them uh, go through the brakes and the bearings and just all the safety things on the trailer it also has electric brakes 
um, and I, I, I'm paying for that part. So uh, the, the owner of the boat actually took it over the Tough Trailers, which just happens to be in Bellingham, Washington. And so, uh, and I'm having a spare tire added to it. This thing's a, a triaxle trailer. It's um, to carry a 28-foot boat uh, with a 9-foot beam. So it's a big boat. So we want to be really safe. So that's what's going on today. Shuri uh, also confirmed that she got back to Arizona safely. And my job this week is to coordinate getting all that trailer working and, and um, paperwork's going through with the bank and all that stuff. So it's kind of boring, but it's got to be done. And uh, we'll start getting more pictures for you of what's going on there. So anyway, that's the update. This is day seven. And uh, we'll tell you more as we go. Well, hello everybody. It's day eight. Kind of skipped seven a little bit there. Um, kind of in waiting mode still. I'm up in Anacortes and uh, you can kind of see the boats out there. And just relaxing with Cinder. We went to the dog park. Um, the boat is processing. Uh, the trailer that for this gigantic boat is actually being um, uh, looked over to make sure all the bearings are good and all the brakes are good and uh, the um, electric brakes are working properly so uh, <laughs> until that's done I don't want to tow that boat so I'm just killing time up in Washington Sherry's at home in Arizona and so uh, the worst part about this whole thing is the cost of motels so I'm really looking forward to not paying for motels for a while but anyway, that's where we're at so far. This is day eight, and uh, if I see something pretty, I'll get a picture of it. But we're just letting the time go by, and then, and then uh, the videos will get interesting. So, bye for now. So for the last few days, and the next day to come, bureaucracy was definitely taking its toll. So Rob was spending a lot of times <laughs> going through parks and taking Cinder for walks, and killing time for about three days and uh, this is just some shots of Anacortes and some of the boating life going on and it was a beautiful day so sit back enjoy Guys, this is gonna wrap up day eight. Not lost, <laughs> not too thrilling this time. Uh, we have a room up here in Bellingham, just a little thing, and uh, uh, just me and Cinder. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll get some more news about the trailer being ready to go and uh, uh, boat being ready to go. <laughs> and hurry up and wait, type of thing. So, I got to do what you got to do. What are you doing? You like, shh, I, think, I think you like the bed. Is it okay? The bed okay? The bed's okay. Well, it's day nine, guys, and uh, I'm just sitting in the motel working on videos and getting ready to work on RV Talk Radio also. And uh, not a whole lot going on today either. Um, basically, what's going on is uh, when you finance something, it takes time for the paperwork to go through. And the trailer is the big thing. They're working on that. Um, I'm paying for that because um, I did it when I bought the boat. I asked for less money, so in return, I told them I want I want the trailer at 100% because I got to travel about 1,200 miles with it. So uh, I am having a lot of brake drums replaced and all the electronics checked on. It does have electronic brakes, and uh, since it's a six-year-old trailer. Um, and it's been put in salt water a couple times. There's a few things corroded, so we're being really safe, and I want to make sure it's a tip-top trailer. 
Luckily, when I take it down to Arizona, it's fresh water I'm going to use uh, when I put it in the water. So I think we're going to Lake Powell with it. So we'll see what's going on from there, but not a big eventful day again. And that's just how it is during the process. The bad part is I had to sit up here and keep paying for motel rooms while I kind of wait. So me and Cinder um, are going to dog parks a lot <laughs> and eating at McDonald's a lot. So that's all I got for you. Well, hello, this is day 10. We've gone 2,244 miles since Arizona. And today is the big day. We're uh, picking up the trailer and then loading it, the boat onto that trailer. And Lord knows what happens after that. <laughs> I think we have a dinghy we got to put in the back and then uh, uh, load a motor. So. That's what we got going on today, so stay tuned. So when Rob arrived at the trailer dealer, of course the parts weren't in yet and the trailer was not ready to go. So it was already two or three o'clock in the afternoon, so Rob and Cinder decided to go for a ride to the beach and go play in the water a while and kill time till they get the phone call that the trailer is actually ready, which doesn't actually happen till dinner time. What you doing? Get a chance to be in the beach. So of course, the trailer is not ready. I'm waiting for some parts. So the guy who owns Tough Trailer said there's a good place here on the beach so I could let Cinder go play. And so that's what we're doing. So it is a nice little hideaway. And I can take her off the leash and nobody seems to care. The way around here. Anyway, uh, I'll get back with you when I get this trailer and then load the boat and then transport. Like a nice day, but beautiful place. I'll show you around here a little bit. And Cinder's happy. Having a good time? Come here. You're gonna be stinky. So Tough Trailers finally gave us a call around dinner time that the parts were in and the trailer was ready. And so when we got there, we had the opportunity to get a tour of his production of trailers. So this is where we build all of our aluminum trailers. Okay. Right in this shop right over here. Wow. Very nice. So everything starts in this shop. So aluminum is less corrosive, is that correct? Uh, in terms of galvanized versus aluminum, yeah. they're both the equivalent. Really? Yeah, oh. so the galvanized steel isn't going to lock on you unless you're in extreme salty conditions. Yeah. And the aluminum, it'll oxidize. But what you can do to deal with oxidization is there's a product called Shark Hide. Uh -huh. And Shark Hide is just basically, you put it on the aluminum I-beam and it seals it. Sweet. And you do it two three times a year, depending on the amount of usage. Oh, okay. So is your this building over here, this is our fabrication shop. So, that's quite a place this guy here, guys. You can see um, this trailer was in the shop earlier when we were here. Yeah. So this one's designed with 13,000 pounds of carrying capacity and it's going to be for a 36 foot boat. Wow. And it's being prepped to go out for hot dip galvanizing. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So one thing about us is when we galvanize the trailer, we don't galvanize it in parts. We galvanize it as one completely welded frame. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So no, nothing bolted in. Amazing. So it just makes it, makes it very rigid. And this is your main shop for this is the main fabrication shop so this is where all your winch posts is, posts are built your, uh, steel frame trailers galvanized trailers you can see centers up there and just all our components we build in here and then over here this is our assembly shop we run four tens monday through thursday oh, nice. so you're catching us at the end of our week <laughs> and everything's just kind of getting pushed out, cleaned out. So when you look yeah. at our yard, you notice there's not a lot of trailers in our yard right now yeah. because everything's already been pushed out for the week. Gotcha. So in this shop here, we can fit five trailers in the outside base and three trailers on the inside. Holy cow. So you guys really specialize in some beefy trailers, don't you? That's the whole idea. Yeah. So after the tour, we went out front and there was my trailer ready to go. And so here's a quick little tour of it before we put the boat on. It's truly a beefy bugger. All right, we got this beast all hooked up. We're gonna do a little modification to uh, 
this jack design here and just getting another pin put in and then we're ready to go so the sun's in the wrong direction here but next is going to be able to put the damn boat on this thing so here we go it was already dinner time and the owner of the boat is wondering where in the heck am I with the trailer and I'm trying to get this trailer done so then I have to drive another 10 miles to Birch Bay to meet the owner of the boat so we can start getting it on the trailer. But I want to give credit to the owner Don who was very patient with all the things that I was going through but I think he was just happy to get rid of his boat. So we finally get this thing lifted up and I realize I am pulling about 10 tons of boat up and we get it to the top of the ramp and this is where you pull the plug out in the back and drain out any extra water so that's what we're doing we're draining the water out and uh, letting it out and, and uh, just want to try to keep saying to myself let's not forget to put that plug back in so we get this thing all set up and we take it over to the rinse off area so here we take off all the different pieces of grass and uh, gunk and stuff that are on the trailer so we don't contaminate other places that we take the boat and the other thing this thing has is a hose system to every tire that will uh, flush fresh water into all the axles so that's what you see the hose there off to the left is actually uh, rinsing off my axles and of course I'm under here right now making sure that I put the plug back in the boat so the plug is now back in the boat and then after that we start rinsing off the boat and getting all the uh, salt off the best we can and so we're just squirting her down and and Don's running around like a chicken with his head cut off showing me all the different things on there and he was just super nice now anyway so we're rinsing it off and there's other people waiting for us but uh, you know we, we got to get this thing rinsed down and so I, uh, I basically go off get in the truck and I definitely haul the boat away so we can go over to Don's house so there was just a little problem we left the camera and so luckily about 10 minutes later Don drove back to this place and picked up the camera and off he went so thanks Don so the next step is we took it over to Don's house where we hooked up to his hose and flushed out the motors with fresh water so it was really nice of him to allow us to come up to his house and do this so they, oh, probably by now it's about 7 7 38 in the evening and you can see us firing up the engines and getting them all flushed out and everything went really smooth and, and Don was wonderful. We also removed all the canvases and then prior to this we also loaded the dinghy into the back of the truck and the motor in the back of the truck so we were pretty busy even after we pulled the boat out of the water. So after all that excitement I'm on the road about 8.30 at night and on my way to Central Oregon. Okay guys we got the boat loaded we uh, didn't get on the road till 8.15 at night, which is fine because we got to get through the Seattle traffic, so I'll be driving late night. Uh, they get this over the pass of I-90 and go in the back way to Central Oregon. Everything went pretty smooth. Uh, we had to take some canvases off and stuff, so so far so good. Anyway, I'll tie in with you. It's going get, to start getting dark here. It's already evening, and uh, I'll let you see what I see. So I started driving this beast through Birch Bay on this small road, which wasn't too bad, and gave me a chance to kind of get a feel for things, but then it started getting darker. And before you know it, I'm on the freeway, in the dark, pulling this mammoth trailer, praying that everything's okay, on my way to Yakima, Washington. So I'm just going to drive about four hours, and it's going to be about two o'clock before I'm done. Well, good evening. It's uh, almost oh, 2.30 in the morning. Uh, we made it to Yakima. So this is the end of the video for getting the boat, loading the boat, getting the trailer, driving, uh, I don't know, maybe 250 miles, 200 miles. And uh, I can't do anymore. So I'm at Yakima, uh, fueled up here at the Indian Reservation. I'm at the casino. I'm in their parking lot. Gonna try to take a snooze, <laughs> and uh, as soon as uh, we wake up, I'll uh, drive uh, the rest of the way to Central Oregon, and then we have a day layover. Sherry's gonna fly up on Friday night. Good morning, everybody. Just woke up. Yes, I have the same shirt on. I uh, pulled in late at night here, about 2:30, I think it was, 
we kind of just laid back a little bit <laughs> and uh, took a snooze for about, I don't know, maybe three hours. Fender stop. So, anyway, uh, I'll look behind us. The boat's still there, so I didn't lose it. So that's a good deal. So, uh, we're going to uh, take the truck over to the gas station over here, get some coffee, go down the road a little bit, find a place where Cinder can play a little bit, and uh, get this boat to Central Oregon. So, thanks for watching, guys. And here we go. All right, so before we get going, I want to let you know we've gone 2,578 miles since we uh, left Arizona. Alrighty, well, we've been driving a little bit. We're at 2,629 miles. We're in a place called Goldendale in Washington and about ready to go over the border. And I gotta tell you, I am so sick of McDonald's. Oh my, I think I've done like four in a row, breakfast and dinner wise. So, <laughs> but their parking lots have been easy to uh, get into. So, back on the road. Alright guys, I made it here to Central Oregon. Uh, we got the boat all set up. I'll roll it around here so you can see. And we took it off the RV. And if you look behind me, you'll see that we have the dinghy, which is a Livingston. And there's also a motor in there too that goes with the boat. So we're tired. So we're just kind of taking her easy today. Sherry flies in at 11 o'clock at night tonight. And I'll pick her up. Uh, Tomorrow morning, uh, we do have to give the bath, <laughs> give the boat a bath. I'm tired. Um, just make sure there's no contamination on it and stuff like that. So we'll be showing you what we're doing tomorrow on that. So looks like we got the boat here in one piece. So so far so good. Only a thousand miles to go. How about that? At Roberts Field, getting ready to pick up Sherry. It's by 11:30 at night. Um, we got a motel here for two days. One day we're going to use to spend washing down the boat, getting ready to go across state borders so it's all cleaned up. And then uh, getting the chance to see Sherry's folks. And then we're going to start working the boat um, down to Lake Powell, which is on the border of uh, Arizona and Utah. Anyway, her plane just came in and we're going to go get her. Let's go. Just can't win. She's here. Good morning. Today is, I think, day 12. Not sure. Anyway, it's a Saturday, and this is kind of a layover day. We're in Central Oregon. We uh, have a real cheap room, <laughs> but it wasn't cheap. And uh, today we got to do a couple of errands, and then we may do a little shopping to pick up some tools and stuff, and a few things for the boat, because when you're in Oregon, there's no tax, sales tax. So if you got any ticket items you want to buy, this is the state to do it in. Then today is wash the boat day and uh, try to visit with uh, Sherry's family before we hit the road again and start heading south, which we have about a thousand miles to go. So just I'm not going to show too much of the room because Sherry's curling her hair, but Cinder's down here waiting to go. Sherry's curling her hair. <coughs> and that's it so far. So here we go, guys. Been washing down the boat. Uh, we use a high pressure sprayer here. You saw before. Washed the outside, got all the grime out, did the carpets on the outside, and then tonight, after it dries out, we buy a bunch of things to put inside. And uh, we actually <laughs> put a sleeping bag and pillow just in case we decide to sleep in the boat instead of staying in his expensive motels on the way. 
So we got about 990 miles to go tomorrow, well, tomorrow but, uh, for the next couple days. It's Saturday, we're leaving on Sunday. We're hoping to be at Page for Lake Powell um, Tuesday morning, and we're hoping. So she came out pretty good. She's uh, all shiny and clean. We should be able to get through the border, no problem, knowing it's been washed down good. And uh, there we go. So pressing on, we got dinner waiting. And I think that might conclude today's video. Good morning, everybody. Day 13. We have driven 2,838 miles. And we just left Bend area, uh, heading towards Burn. And the difference on this trip going back is Sherry's with me. Yay! So we haven't had breakfast yet. We filled up the tank in the truck last night. There's a big old boat behind us. And uh, so far so good, everything's going all right. And uh, we'll tighten it as we go. We'll give you some pictures of the road too. Bye for now. Well, we're almost to uh, Burns, Oregon. We've traveled since the beginning of the trip, 2,937 miles. We're gonna break 3,000 pretty soon here. Just stop at a little rest area. Cinder got a break. I got a break. I got a break. And we're ready to hit the road again. We had a little rest area out here. It's out in the middle of nowhere. It's not the best rest area, was it? A little dirty. A little dirty. But anyway, on we go. Bye. So right after we left here, we followed the GPS for a shortcut to get onto the highway. And oh my God, we turned left, got on the road, couldn't turn around, turned out to be eight miles of dirt road. Oh well, we just drove through, <laughs> cringed, and realized we had a filthy boat and trailer and truck. <laughs> and thank God we had a monsoon later to clean everything off. Hi guys, this is Rob and Sherry, and we just went through Winnemucca, which is in Nevada. We decided to divert to uh, Highway I-80, which goes through Utah. Roads are a little better, better shoulders. There's no shoulders where we're at. So uh, just being a little safer, it's gonna be take us a little, well, add about a half hour to our trip. Uh, we've gone 3,187 miles. And, uh, uh, since the beginning of this trip so anyway it's all miles so Cinder's doing all right we're all kind of getting back in the mojo here and uh, uh, off we go So far we've driven 3,351 miles and we are still 150 miles from Salt Lake City or more. Or more. So we're at a Love's truck stop, total ins insanity, <laughs> and we're eating McDonald's again. <laughs> and so and Cinder gets her french fries. Thanks. I have never ate a McDonald's so much. <laughs> And McDonald's after this trip, I'm going to take a break from you. <laughs> well, it was almost the end of the night here, but guess where we're sleeping tonight? In a boat. And guess where we're at? A casino. So, still, we're still camping in a boat. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So sleeping in a boat in a casino can be a little noisy with music in the parking lot. So we didn't probably sleep as good as we wanted to, but... Driving across the border into Utah, coming around the rocks here, and this was the salt flats. 
and oh my gosh, uh, unfortunately my windshield is a little dirty from the dirt road before, <laughs> but it was beautiful. Good morning people, this is day number 14. We traveled 3,419 miles. So yeah, since uh, we began this trip, we uh, slept in the boat last night in a parking lot in a casino at the border of Nevada and Utah. So anyway, we're back on the road and started out with a nice sunrise and off we go. We should be at the cage today. So uh, we're getting there. Oh, I'm sure he is alive. So talk to you later. Bye. Folks, we've uh, hit 3,722 miles, <laughs> and we're at a little rest area, beautiful place in Utah. Between, wow, well, we just went through Richfield and going over the passes, and uh, just uh, going through this pass was outstanding. Wait, right, let me uh, step out for a minute, let you see what we see. Right, yeah, welcome to Utah. What a nice stop. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go stretch a little bit, out, cinder, walk around, and take a breather, and then back on the road. This rest area just outside of Richfield is a perfect example of Utah's beauty and nature. It had rock formations, a small stream going through it, and just elegant. So just sit back for a moment and enjoy the beauty of Utah.
back in the road we went, heading towards Lake Powell, but Utah still had some beauty to show us. So enjoy our passage through Utah. And yes, there it is, Lake Powell. We've finally made it to our destination. You cannot comprehend at this point how relieved we are that we made it here. And at this point, we also are realizing what a vast, gigantic lake this is. And we we're coming in in the evening, and it was absolutely beautiful calm, quiet, and of course, we're lost. So we just keep kind of driving, working our way down to the lake, trying to figure out where we're supposed to go, and some of the signs didn't exactly make sense to us, but we just kept going until we got down to the resort itself. Then found a parking lot for overflow boats and trailers, and turned in, and you'll see Right ahead of us, this little guy in a cart shows up, and what a kind gentleman he was. So it was getting too late to launch the boat, so we found that this would be a great place to spend the night sleeping in the boat. Good morning, everyone. This is day 15. We have arrived, and we're way in the background. You can kind of see the lake stuff, but so busy, busy morning. <laughs> so we are just... Getting our jackets on, getting ready to go down to the marina. It rained. It rained. Can you believe it? It rained here? So anyway, uh, got to get arrangements in the marina. Then we have to transfer things from the truck to the boat. Eventually put this thing in the water, see if it actually floats. I think it floats. And then uh, move dinghies. And so the, <laughs> even though we got here, it seems yay, woohoo, we're here. We still got a lot of work to do. But yep. Anyway, and then uh, we'll sleep the night in the boat one more. We did sleep in the night in the boat one night, well, last night, and that was fine. And uh, but it'll be on the water this time. And Cinder's doing great. She likes the boat, so now it'll be interesting to see how she likes it when it's in the water. So we got errands to do. We'll keep you informed. Bye. And the first thing we discovered on Lake Powell at the marina, they have little golf carts that are driving all over to pick people up to take them wherever they want to go and you leave them a little tip for a buck and they're happy campers and due to the size of this resort you'd be darn glad for a dollar you can get taken anywhere you want and this driver took us right up to the main office to register our boat it's tough to make a decision on two slips so this one's closer to the restaurant and marina office and restrooms, but the other one's closer to restrooms and showers. So we're going to go look at the other one. Okay, so we're looking at our second choice. I'm sure he's checking it out. This one's a little farther out in the marina. You don't want to park your boat too, too close to a uh, better looking boat. Make your boat look bad. Definitely two nice boats between them. So. Oh, tough decision. So the decision was made, this would be the one for our boat. Okay guys, as I was saying earlier, prep time. So Sherry's been up there putting the carpets back in. And uh, we'll have to mount a dinghy and a motor on the bracket up there. And uh, I think our boat will get inspected and make sure we don't have any weird parasites in the boat. And... Uh, Lots of things to do. And then we got to get the dinghy out of the back of the truck, which is back here. And uh, there's a dinghy and a the motor there, a little heavy, so it'll be interesting to see how we deal with that. And we got to get the bumpers out, get everything uh, set up, and that's before we even get in the water. So we're getting there. And by the way, both Sherry and I forgot <laughs> today's our anniversary. Yes, it is. Can you believe that? 36 years. August 23rd is our uh, is our anniversary. So when you see this video, it'll be a little time out. But yeah, 36 years. So 
Guess what our present was? <laughs> I'm not sure this present's a lot of work. <laughs> At the moment. And, uh, That'll be nice once it's set up. And Cinder is down here kind of waiting for her turn. So she's being good. So anyway, happy anniversary to us. Get this thing ready and soon into the water. Alrighty, so we got our motor all mounted. And it's a 4 horsepower, 4 stroke Nissan Marine. And I've uh, got our bumpers all lined up. And then sure you got the carpet again. We uh, just turn on the gauges. Power's on. Checking fuel. Fuel full tank, which uh, <laughs> uh, that's probably about $200 worth of fuel in there. And we're getting almost ready to roll. So this is our moment of truth. A little, little nervous. We really shouldn't be. We have experience on this before, but it's the first time we ever driven this boat. Everything's new and getting in the water, new area, the whole works. So here we go guys, we're launching the boat. All right, so for our next trick, so we got the dinghy out. Sherry's out at the boat there. We have a little, little teeny rope for it. So that should be fun. And we have a mount in the back of the boat. So we'll just float it down the dock, somehow get around the boat and uh, call it good. Alrighty, so this is our first time out. Thought we'd stop in the middle of the lake for a minute. Let's just see what we see. Lake Powell. Real pretty. And then there's a bunch of moored boats there and the marina is over there. So at this point, it was time for me and Sherry to reflect on the 4,000 mile journey we went through, going all the way to Washington, picking up the boat and transporting it all the way back here. And now we're on the lake. The two weeks of being away from home, the expenses, it was all worth it. We have found our solitude, we found our beauty, we found Lake Powell, and of course, each other. Hi, Cinder. So what do you think? Pretty cool. Sherry and I really had no idea how beautiful this lake is. And then in the future, we know we're going to bring to everybody that views our channel some very beautiful sights. I look forward to the future. This lake gives happiness to a lot of people and a lot of families and we're looking forward to showing it all to you. So after about an hour or so out in the water and just testing the motors a little bit, this is our marina slip. And it's a cozy little place and we're happy with it. Hi guys, this is Robin Sherry. We're wrapping up day 15. We're in the boat tonight on the water. Got all of our systems running, light, lights are on, everything's working good, got watered up. Uh, met a guy who will check our cooling system, just to make sure it's a, it's a water exchange cooling system. And before I turn it on, I'm going to have him inspect it. And Cinder's been trying to get kind of used to things. Which is she's, up to. she's just like, what is this thing? <laughs> so, anyway, that concludes... Uh, this show here for uh, uh, day 15. Tomorrow we leave the boat and we drive about 350 miles down to Phoenix where we live. Go back, go back to the RV and then we'll actually be back up here in two days. Mm -hmm. So we're leaving on a Wednesday. We'll be back up here on a Friday with a list of things that we need to bring on the boat. And what we're going to do, so stay tuned, is we're going to uh, do a little investigating of some different places to take our grandkids the following weekend on the three-day weekend so we're looking forward to that so really we're prepping the boat for a really fun weekend with grandkids and our daughter and uh, son-in-law so anyway I want to thank you for watching we successfully got the boat to Lake Powell all is good uh, boats working as good as expected so anyway thank you for watching 
There's a lot more to the stories now. But <laughs> so the journey's over, but a new journey begins with all kinds of... I promise you, you're going to see some fantastic uh, places. Uh, Lake Powell is amazing. So we're looking forward to it. So stay tuned, guys. Guys, this is day 16. We're still up at Lake Powell. This is kind of the final part of the journey. I just thought I'd uh, kind of tell you what we're doing. Um, we still have our trailer. If you look way in the back, I don't know if you can see it. So there's a place here that you can store trailers, but I gotta check the prices. If they're too high, we have a place to store it at the RV place for like $61 a month. If it's lower than that here, I'll leave it here. So I may have to tote this trailer another 300 miles, I guess it would be, to uh, uh, Fountain Hills where we're staying. Uh, the boat's all set up, we slept really good, and today it's just traveling from Page all the way down to Fort McDowell in Arizona, and we're home to the RV. And we'll uh, show you some of the pictures, it's a real pretty drive, so it should be some really nice photography. So, here we go, last day, get to go home finally. You realize I've been gone for over two weeks to take care of this boat, but it's done. Anyway, off we go. We're in Page now. Thought I'd tell you the mileage that we've done so far in this whole trip. It's been 3,926 miles. That's a lot of driving. So anyway, <laughs> we'll show you more. Shortly after we left Page, the train started out kind of plain, and then out of nowhere these beautiful beautiful rocks and canyons started showing up and what a breathtaking drive it was and it actually takes you all the way around till you come to an opening which you'll see in a moment where you can actually see the beginning of the Grand Canyon and all I can say is enjoy and <laughs> you got to take this drive someday Just around the corner, past this rock formation, it feels like you're entering into a gateway. And as soon as you go through this gateway, you'll see in just a moment, the spectacular view that goes on forever. And you'll be able to see the actual beginning of the Grand Canyon. And we also stopped and took some uh, pictures of what it looked like.
so back on the road we went heading towards Flagstaff and what you'll see from this point on is the desert starting to change back into a forest which is a uh, beautiful pines and uh, you can see the mountains in the backgrounds and you'll pass through those and then eventually after you pass Flagstaff you end up going towards Arizona again or Phoenix and you'll start seeing desert again and that uh, you just everything in this drive you get to see all kinds of formations and it's a wonderful drive. Well, the final journey is over. We've driven approximately 4,216 miles. That's a lot of miles. So I'm not going to bore you with all the final things, but we are at our RV park. And I'll show you out here real quick. And Sherry is with me. Yes. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. So we just pulled into the storage thing over here at the RV park. And behind me is the RV park. And behind the truck, you will see we have the trailer. And they allow us to store it free. I didn't know that. So that saved us some money. So uh, we're storing the trailer here. Then we're going to drop Cinder off at the RV. Then, believe it or not, we've still got one more thing to do. We're not going to show that on video. Is we have to uh, go back to the airport and uh, pick up Sherry's car. So... <laughs> So we're not quite done after 4,000 miles. We're not going to add that to this, to this thing. So anyway, we want to thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, joining our journey. Don't forget to subscribe and share our videos. And we'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, thank you for watching our full featured documentary of how we bought our boat and brought it down to Arizona. Please take the time to subscribe and watch some of our previous videos. And of course, watch our 2017 playlist. Thanks and happy boating.